Uh, but I've, I'm always up for a bit of crunch, so yeah. you know, let's, uh, let's hey, hey. <laughs> That's not Teddy. <laughs> Hello darlings and welcome to a brand new episode of The Chocolate Snob with myself and Tom. Hello. The self-professed chocolate snob. This is the show where we look at Tom's oral skills. <laughs> no. This is the show where we question what's in Tom's mouth. No. <laughs> this is the show where we taste test chocolates and pretty much let you guys know what we think of them. Yeah. And Tom is basically a resident chocolate snob, mm -hmm. having had many years of experience with chocolates. Oh, many, many years. Pretty much his entire life. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and so we're going to try out a different chocolate each week. Uh, again, Tom has no idea what chocolates I'm bringing to the table. Same thing this week. Mm -hmm. Something magical is under this cloth, and we're going to dive into it and see what it is. Yeah, let's go for it. Ready? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So this week, I thought we'd do something kind of cool. We do a bit of a, almost a retro throwback Flashback Friday, whatever the kids are calling it. Okay. And today, we're actually going to do the definitive ranking of... Macintosh's oh, Quality Street. Yeah, I don't really like Quality Street. <laughs> now, the fun thing about Quality Street, this is obviously mm. like an updated tin that they've got, mm. but back in the 80s and 90s, um, any household that would, including my own, any household that would have a Quality Street tin didn't necessarily mean you actually had Quality Streets in it. No, it was always, um, you always had like a sewing kit. Yeah, always. Like my mom, yeah. my mom still keeps her sewing stuff in yeah. a Quality Streets tin, which is bizarre. Mm -hmm. So like you would open up a cupboard and you're like, ooh, there's Quality Streets, and you open up and there's like a needle and thread. Yeah, so, very depressing. No, yeah. Very depressing. Yeah. Yeah. But these actually do contain chocolates, I'm very happy about that. So we're basically gonna try it, I think it's eight different kinds of chocolate in here. Yeah. We're gonna try each one, and we're gonna kind of put it in its ranking from the worst to the best. So we're gonna start with, I think one of the classic ones. This is a chocolate noisette pate. Or pa yeah. Pate, yeah. Pate, yeah. Not a paste. So it's going to be quite, I think, soft in the center, almost like milky bar S. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I, this is one of my favorite ones in the tin. I don't recall ever eating one of these, actually. Really? Yeah. You've I, missed out. I, uh, when I go to comes to Quality Street, I always yeah. just go for the toffee one. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to try the green one now. Childhood memories. It's not good. You're dead to me. <laughs> It's kind of like a Nutella kind of flavor. Yeah. Um, so some sort of hazelnut yeah. sort of spread, but mm. it's very it's very dense. It's thicker than like you would have a chocolate spread. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, um, but I still, I mean, it's exactly, it's lighter than a, than it's exactly a, how I remember it. It's lighter than a Milky Bar though as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, for me, it's not good though. How many times would you give that though? Um, two. Two is a bit poor, so hopefully you'll get some better ones uh, yeah, in the next yeah. couple of times. I'm going to put it, so here I'm just going to keep the wrappers yeah. and I'm going to yeah, put them in order ahead. as we... Um, Lovely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is the uh, chocolate caramel cup. I thought this was almost like a honeycomb one. Because I, 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 I don't know whether it was with these guys or with Galaxy. They used to do something similar like this in an assortment of chocolates. Mm -hmm. And it, this one will be filled with like a honey caramel. So maybe it's the same one, maybe okay. it's something different. Caramel, caramel. is big, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For um, me, I'm all right with caramel. I think it's just one of those things where you either you love it or you hate it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm on the fence, but I don't mind it too much. Oh, oh it's good. Mm. It's a good caramel. Yeah, not real good. Mm. It's a good mm. good amount of chocolate, not too much, not too little. Yeah. Um, it doesn't melt in your hands, the caramel doesn't come all over. No, exactly. It's like yeah. a roll yeah. ro I hate rollers because every time you yeah. try, try and get one, it's like it just explodes in your hand. Mm -hmm. And so, um, no, that is a good chocolate. That's a good, yeah, good yeah. chocolate. That I like that. A, yeah. yeah. I'll give that four times. Four times. We it, like even it. maybe pushing 4.5. Ooh. Yeah, which I think is the highest score we've, we've got given so far. On, yeah. Uh, chocolate snob. Yeah. yeah. So this one is chocolate hazelnut crunch. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't remember this one from my childhood. No, and I definitely don't remember the wrapping. Yeah. Uh, the silver one. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't recall this at all. There tend to be a lot of hazelnut flavored chocolates out there in the market. So this is just kind of- It's true. Just another one. Uh, I don't really dig hazelnut and chocolate, mm -hmm. but, um, or any, indeed any kinds of nuts yeah. and chocolate. Uh, but I've, I'm always up for a bit of crunch. So, yeah. you know, let's, uh, let's hey, hey. see. <laughs> That's not daddy. <laughs> Disappointing. Where's the crunch? Where's the crunch? Yeah, yeah. where's the crunch, yeah. Oh, that's mediocre. Mm. There's hardly any taste in that in it anyways. Like the few times you actually get a crunch, mm. it's gone before you can even enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Here's a top tip. If you don't like nuts and chocolate, go for these in the Quality Street yeah. box because you won't get any hazelnut. Any nuts, nuts. Yeah. exactly. Uh, I'll give this, uh, just because it's disappointing, I'll give it two. Yeah, because it's lied. Pretty it's, shameless. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's lying to it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Lying chocolate. Okay, I'm already, I already know I'm gonna regret this. So, this is the chocolate orange cream. Okay, what's wrong with that? 
Dude. We've had this conversation about fruit flavors and chocolate. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, um, As in, I hate them. Like Terry's chocolate orange yes. and stuff. Oh my yeah, god, yeah, sure, that's, yeah. just, that's an abomination. It is terrible, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we don't want to put this in my mouth, but, which is a first uh, for me. <laughs> but you might be lucky because if it's anything like that, like hazelnut, hazelnut one, then, then it will be only like Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> So I thought it was a cream, but it's like a, almost like an orange nougat. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it. That they've <clears throat> tasted in chocolate. Yeah. Um, the chocolate is dark. Yeah. Um, and that goes well with the citrusy flavors mm. of the orange. I mean, that's just, but that's so orangey and so artificial, I think. It is very artificial, yeah. This, mm. so far, is, I think, my least favorite. No, I'll give it a three, to be honest. Really? A three. Wow. Yeah. It's not that bad. Generous, generous. Okay, but no, that's a no for me. It's no. terrible. <laughs> this little guy is the toffee packed. Yeah. You say, what do you say about this one? What do you? This is the classic one. That okay. This is uh, whenever I had Quality Street as a kid. Mm -hmm. This is the one I'd make the beeline for. I hate these guys <laughs> because when I was, I, I don't, I forgot what age I was, but I was quite young. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, we had a box of Quality Street, and I picked this one up. And I bit into it, and I noticed like there was something hard, and I popped exactly. it out, and there was a tooth in my toffee. So I am now literally physically and emotionally scarred from putting these in my mouth, <laughs> which is something you will never hear me say again. It's already stuck to my mouth. It's rasa, so sticky. Which yeah, is yeah, not yeah. a good sign. This, look at that. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, it's so sticky. I'm gonna break mine in half <laughs> because I don't want to put this in my mouth at all. Oh my! Look at that. I regret breaking this in half already. Hmm. It's sticky. It's already stuck to my tooth. Mm. Every time I've seen a Macintosh with Quality Street tin, these are the little guys that are left behind. Because <laughs> nobody wants to eat these because they're mm. just bad. It is difficult I'm to eat. I'm scared um, I... to ask what you're gonna what are you gonna rate it. I'll give it a four. Four times. By the fourth time you moved it around, there's nothing left in your mouth because it's all stuck in your teeth. Yeah, but and you spend the rest of the evening like just trying to get it out of your Yeah, teeth. but then you've got this delicious flavour going around your mouth the whole time. So this is another classic one from Macintosh Squad. Yeah, I remember, I remember these ones. very vividly. Yeah, yeah. And this is a chocolate with a whole hazelnut and caramel in it. Yeah. So um, it's got caramel, which you, you love. Yeah. You don't make fun of hazelnut, no. but let's see if the caramel can It does meet there. the uh, three layer quota mm -hmm. of a great chocolate. Then. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's so. double wrapped, which is cool. It's got a little plastic, bubble yeah. plastic. We would actually mm. save these wrappers and use them in arts and crafts projects. Yeah, yeah. And like we would take the fours and try yeah. and straighten them out and do weird things with them. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember. Because we were poor. <laughs> <laughs> Good crunch. Mm, good crunch, yeah. Really disappointing caramel. It's kind of like a stale hazelnut. But this is why hazelnut has no business mm, in being chocolate, chocolate. Especially a whole hazelnut. It's yeah. a shell of its former self. So, yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll give it a three, I suppose. I would give it a three um, as well, yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's not the greatest one out mm. there, that's for sure. Okay, now we've got the chocolate strawberry cream. Uh, this is another one I think where you're not going to enjoy it. No. Um, no. I so love the wrapper though. I love the color of the wrapper. Yeah, it's, it's nice but looking. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think the I think I think despite me liking the orange cream one, uh, I don't think I'm going to like this one. It smells yeah. so weird. Oh, it's so it's like so artificial. Fake strawberry yeah. smell. Yeah, yeah. No. It's so strong. It's so soft. I don't want to smell what I just did. Oh, oh that's so bad. <laughs> that's like if we have a negative rating, it would be like somewhere here. Yeah. Like, that's just so that is a, that's a one mm. right there, one. That's just wrong. Do better Macintosh. Terrible, get rid of yeah. this stuff. Yeah, seriously. So the last one mm. is the legendary Toffee Finger. There it is. This is the one I would go for first. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is always a good one. this is amazing. This yeah. is like a solid toffee, not like that crappy toffee disc that you put in my mouth. This is a proper chewable toffee. It does get stuck a little bit in your teeth, but it's so worth it. Mm -hmm. Encased in like a light ribbon of chocolate. Oh. So good. The fact that I'm describing it so well, yeah, just, he knows I, what he's I cannot about. wait yeah, yeah. To, to try this out. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. I have reached chocolate nirvana. This isn't like even authentic toffee. It's just like, oh, here's like. Well, a... it's toffee that humans can eat, basically. <laughs> I'm, scared, I'm scared of what you're gonna give it. When I was a kid, I'd love Because it may punch you. <laughs> if I knew how to punch people. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll give it a three. Really? Yeah. Aww. A three. for at least a four. Nah. No, it's not. It's not as good. Not quite as good? No. I, okay. I don't. 
I remember it being better when I was a kid. Alright, but now, now you're older and you like, like you're like you're like I know what my palate is. Yeah, used exactly. To. Yeah, 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 exactly. And it's, yeah. It's Especially with chocolate snob. Exactly. Yeah. So that concludes our definitive ranking of Macintosh's Quality Street by the one and only chocolate snob. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments which Quality Streets were your favorites, which ones did you hate the most or love the most. Mm -hmm. We love to hear from you guys, and yeah. we'll see you next week for another episode of the yeah. Chocolate Snob. Indeed. Cheers.